Todo mundo. Todo mundo. Todo mundo. Tequila start, isn't it? I need to adjust this seat because you've got tiny legs. You, can't, you don't have to whisper, oh, you know. Let's no. <laughs> right, just put this down a bit. Because my it's head gone be, off. That's not, it hasn't went off. It's just because when you put your hand behind okay. there, it, it just sends that thing. Okay. So sorry, just, sorry, just me almost ache in there. Right. So do we start this again? Just, just press, press, press it, that. just press it down. Foot on, oh, the foot on the brake, man. There we go. Here yeah, we go. Excite Are you excited? I'm excited. Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> Aye, how quiet it is. So how, do, <coughs> how are you then? How do we get it into sport mode again? Yeah. Left. To the left. Flick left, yeah? Yeah. Maximum go court feel has just popped up on the on the screen. That's, you can feel it straight away, mine, through the air, uh, through the throttles and the steering's heavy and everything. It's not like driving a transit. <laughs> Transit's much more luxurious than this. But I have always loved these minis to be fair. Not these in particular, the old classic ones was more my cup of tea. Always wanted one when I when I turned 17, I remember drawing them as a kid and planning out what my perfect mini would be. I think these as a whole, these newer ones, eh? I've never driven one before. I know this is if you're wondering, this is actually my mum's my mum's car. Um we'll not reveal your age, ma'am, will we? <laughs> this is actually my cameraman or camera woman, I should say, today. Yep. Um and thank you for letting us drive this, ma'am. The reason mm -hmm. I wanted to have a go at this, right, is one, because it's a Mini, and I do like the Minis, I'll be honest. They're like little go-karts. Um, but also, because this one uh, is automatic, and not only is it automatic, but it's got, I don't actually know the specific terms, but it's like the DSG uh, flappy paddle gearbox in, which I haven't had too much experience using a DSG. And the big debate I know is manual versus the DSG. So is the manual gearbox better or is the DSG sort of flappy paddle box better? And most people kind of lean towards the fact that a proper driver's car should be a manual. And I've always been going down that road with the Cozzy, the Focus, and obviously the Transit Sport being a manual. But I'm excited in sport mode to see what this is actually all about, to be honest with you. <laughs> Initial thoughts. <laughs> that is that is sick. That is really good. It's popping and banging and all sorts. Now that change is quick. I would never ever be able to change gear that quick. And it's planted as well. I know you just drive it around quite cautiously, don't you, Mum? Yes. Um, <laughs> It'll not know what's hit it. So this one is not just a, a Mini Cooper S, this is a Mini Cooper, no, it's a Mini John Cooper S Works, isn't it? I think that's the full name. John and Cooper it's a Works. good looking car, to be honest. It is a good looking car, very good looking car. Um, again, I don't think it's as good looking as the old school Minis, but it is a good looking car. It's got massive brakes on the front, I've noticed. Big. I think the 18 inch or 19 inch alloy wheels haven't they? Mm -hmm. But pulling away from junctions and stuff uh, with this sport mode on, it is quite like quite jerky as if you've got like a like a, a race clutch or something in like what we had in the focus. Even in the automatic it picks up, doesn't it? Now I don't know the specifics of this mini. So what I'll do is I'll have to Google it a bit later on because uh, although I know quite a bit, I'm not a, a wealth of knowledge 
on the spec side of things so I'll google it later and I will put the brake horsepower and all that sort of shenanigans in the description of this video so we are just tootling along at the minute because we're going through Walkworth which is some nice scenery in here but uh, we're actually going for something to eat aren't we mother? yep, my nanic. so I thought why not let me have a little blast of this mini on these country roads but we're probably going to get stuck behind some Dewu Matiz doing <laughs> 25 mile an hour oh he's turning off We've result. Hit the result result drive that's got a lot of power um, it's definitely not as snatchy it's I don't know whether that's to do with the electronic side of things kicking in and sorting everything out for you but it's definitely not as snatchy uh, it doesn't want to kill you or put you in the hedge that's for sure but it's certainly enough power to be quick and it puts it down really really well and this gearbox I don't honestly think I would buy a manual one that's just out the first <laughs> 10 minutes of driving this car I could honestly say I, I couldn't see a manual one better in the drive of, of this with uh, uh, the big debate on manual or DSG or the flappy paddles I don't honestly know what it's called I'm just gonna say a DSG if I'm wrong shooters crucifiers whatever you need to do in the comments but with this uh, Tiptronic-esque gearbox, I do see now why why people are drawn to these Golf R's and these Audi RS3's and these, these Mini Cooper S works because they're smooth when you're just tootling about and when you put it into this sport mode, it's like an absolute rocket ship. It sounds absolute bollocks as well, it sounds mint. It sounds much nuts. I don't know if it's got like a valve on the exhaust or something, but it doesn't do that in eco mode, does it? Definitely not. No, I tell you what, this is fun to drive. Like if you had one of these on a track or something, my god. And like I say, just off, I've never drove one of these flappy paddle gearboxes, but just off driving it for this short amount of time, I can really see why now, the way technology is going, the building cars with this gearbox in and not in manual. Um, I wouldn't see I'm coming round to it, I don't know if I'd have one. I definitely wouldn't have the Transit Sport in a, a flappy paddle manual gearbox like, but um, <coughs> I do see why people are drawn to them and the, the, obviously they are good. I couldn't do an hour and a half in here where you need them. Not in sport mode anyways. Just so you know as well, folks, the dog is in the house. He isn't in the back. Uh, well, I've dropped the dog off, so he's not getting chucked about in the back. We haven't put a stick helmet on him or anything like that. He's not sitting in the back there. He's nice and safe at home. Right, so we've just pulled up to go and get some food. So we're going to leave the video there, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to see more content, make sure you subscribe. But I'll leave it here. Thank you very much, ma'am, for letting us drive your Mini Cooper S works. <laughs> um, I hope you've had fun. I know I have driving it. 
hit a like, leave a comment, let us know what your thoughts are of everything that I said down below. Enjoy the rest of your day guys, have a great week, peace.